Hello everyone. So today we are going to make a small project using the ESP32 node MCU development board, to control 4 relays from the Vrink app. This video is sponsored by AllPCB.com. AllPCB is an ultra-fast PCB super factory as well as an internet-based manufacturing company. They offer professional one-stop service, including PCB manufacturing, PCB assembly, fast surface mounted technology service and components sourcing. Check out them at AllPCB.com. We have received the PCBs from all PCB. Now let's solder the components. First, let's solder some female headers for the ESP32 node MCU development board, so that we can easily take off the ESP32 board if any troubleshooting needed. Now solder the other components like resistors, transistors for driving the relay, the relays, and finally connect the screw terminals for connecting the load. That's it. We have completed the soldering and the PCB looks really awesome. Now let's install and configure the Blink app. If you haven't already installed the Blink application go to Play Store and search for Blink and click Install. Now register a new account or just log in with your Facebook account. Then click on the New Project button. Give a suitable project name like Relay Control. Now from choose the device drop down list select ESP32 development board and click OK. Then select Wi-Fi as connection type. Then press the create button. They will send an authentication token to your email address, just click OK. Now press the plus button on the top bar to open the widget box. Then select button from the list. Like the same way add three more buttons. Now click on the first button to open the button settings then change the button mode to switch from push. Then click on the pin, and select GP27 from digital pins. Then press the top left arrow to go back to main page. Now repeat the same process with all the other three buttons except for the pin number, choose the pin number at which you have connected the relays. Ok now we have completed the settings for all four buttons, now it's time for programming. First, you need to install ESP32 in the Arduino IDE, if you not already done that then you can follow this tutorial from my blog, the link will be in the description. After that, we need to install the Blink library, for that go to the sketch menu and select manage library from the include library submenu. Then search for Blink, and install the Blink library from Velodema, as you can see I have already installed. Now go to Tools, Board, and choose Do It ESP32 Development Kit Version 1. Now go to File Example, Blink, Boards Wi-Fi ESP32 Wi-Fi. Now scroll down the code, open the email from Blink which we received earlier, containing the authentication token, copy it, and paste it in the code. Now change the SSID and password to match your Wi-Fi credentials. Select the port at which you have connected the ESP32 board and click Upload. Now it's testing time. For testing, we are going to connect these light and fan to the relays. OK, connect one terminal of all the lights and fan to the NO, normally open, of the relays. As we have made all the common pin of the relay common, we need to connect the wire from the power supply only to one common terminal of any of the relay. Now connect the power supply. Open the Blink app. Our device is offline now. Turn on the power to make it online. Now if you press on the first button the associated relay will turn on so do the light connected to the relay. Look at how fast it is responding. Let me show you a close-up view. 
So, that's it guys, hope you like this project if you have any doubts or help regarding this project feel free to ask in the comments. If you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned until the next video.